Welcome back guys. Welcome back to Websense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Nasir, and today we are with another Shopify tutorial video and in today's video you will learn how to add your custom cart icon in your Shopify store. So if you if you are looking to change your cart icon from default icon to something more customized and if you are customizing your Shopify store you can learn how to do that in this video and before learning make sure to subscribe the channel comment in the video below if you have any questions related to this video or related to this channel also don't forget to like it okay so let's get into the code okay so first step we will go to backend of our store by navigating to slash admin and that's how the back end of your Shopify store will look like. Click on online store here. And from there you will see uh, your theme. My current theme is Dawn and the latest, oh, I'm using the latest version as of today, which is 6.0.2. Now I'm going to click on actions and then click on edit code. Before editing the code, make sure to duplicate your theme and once you will duplicate it you will not face any losses if you do any mistake on in code files so for example if you change a wrong file you can easily revert it back as it will show copy of dawn below themes once you duplicate your theme and you can easily revert it back by clicking on actions and republishing the copy of dawn which you created by duplicating your theme okay now click on actions and then edit code and here you need to search cart and when you scroll down in snippets you will have icon cart and icon cart empty dot liquid icon cart icon dash cart dot liquid and icon dash cart dash empty liquid so in these files we have svg code which we are going to replace to add the custom icon to our store so why we have two files because it shows two icons one one when we have a product in our cards it's it's showing number as you can see and one is the empty one when we don't have any products in our card okay now for the icon i'll go to flat icon as i love the icons which they use so i'm going to find a nice looking card icon You can use color card icon as well. So I like this one. Um, actually, I like this one better. Okay, now I'm going to download this. Click on free download. And here we go. Our shopping card dot PNG is downloaded. But uh, the problem is that it's a PNG icon and to download the SVG icons from flat icon, you will need a premium account. So what we're going to do, we will uh convert this png icon to svg icon and in order to do that i'll suggest you guys to png to svg.com so that's the website i use to convert my pngs to svgs okay now once this website is open you have an option to drag and drop a file i'm going to click choose a file and upload my png icon which i downloaded Okay, so that's the icon. I'm just uploading that one. And once it's uploaded, it will show you the preview here. And if there is an issue uh, for converting your icon, it will not generate a preview. So you will need to download a different uh, icon and upload it here because sometimes it just uh, burn the file or it, it, it doesn't show the proper card icon. So guys, our PNG preview is ready. Now that's how our SVG will look like after you click generate button. So once your preview is showing up after uploading the PNG file, click on generate button. So it's gonna take like two, three seconds to reducing image and generating vector as you can see the progress here. And here we go, our SVG is ready. So that's our PNG which is converted to an SVG, which looks like this. 
and now click on download SVG. There we go. Our SVG has been downloaded. Okay. Now the final step is to open the SVG file in your code editor. So I'm going to open this file in Notepad++ and that's our SVG icon code. So I'm just going to copy this code and go back to our file, which is icon guard dash icon liquid and paste it here. Okay. Now hit save. And now if I go back to the store and hit refresh, it will show our custom card icon. But uh, when there are no products in the cart, so if I remove all these products from the cart, you can see our card icon has been reverted back to the default one. Reason for that is we have to up update these two files. One is icon dash cart dot liquid and the other one is icon dash cart dash empty dot liquid. So I'm going to paste my SVG code in that file too. Hit save. And now when I go back and hit refresh, here we go. Our custom card icon is showing up now when our card is empty. And now let's try adding a product to the card to see. There we go. We are seeing our card icon completely fine. Uh, so we will require a little CSS in order to uh, change the placement of the numbering. Like you're seeing the small one, which is in the middle of the card icon, we can replace its position by using some CSS. Let's try that. So click on inspect element and try to change the count positioning. So here we have Now, what we can do is term 0 0.9. Okay, it's going up. So let's 0 REM. Okay, now we need it a little more to the left. Two point nine or let's do it three point two REM. Okay. Now it looks a little better. We can also make it a little more to the left. So our card icon will be more visible. 3.8. Let's do it 4.0 REM. Okay. Now this one looks much better. So all we need to do is go to our base.css file and change the code. With, uh, change the coding which we did here. We changed uh, the bottom positioning. We changed the left positioning. So let's go to our base.css file, search for base. Here's our base.css file and now search for this class here. Here's our class and here's our positioning. So our left was 4.0 REM, like 4 REM and bottom was zero. Okay, now hit save. And let's go back to our store after file is saved as it's saved. Okay, cool. Now go back to our store and hit refresh. Here we go. The positioning of the count has been replaced as well and it looks pretty nice and pretty cool. If you guys uh, like the tutorial, make sure to comment on the video below, like and share. Until next video, have a great day.